Hello and welcome to this uh, video tutorial of Google Shopping Fees for Magento 2 and in today's video tutorial we'll be taking you through the workflow of this extension. So after we have configured the extension and uh, we have set up everything, we'll be showing you how, uh, what different options does the admin get in the admin backend panel for this particular extension and uh, how the admin can uh, use this extension for exporting his products as well so uh, let me take you to the uh, backend configuration settings and let me show you uh, how the extension actually works so i've already logged into the admin backend panel of the magento 2 web store and uh, after we have configured and after we've installed and configured this particular extension we'll be having this google shopping feed menu option on the left hand side as you can see here and clicking that up brings up three different menu sub sub menu options one is the map attribute the other one is the map category and the last one is a google product feeds so what i'll be doing here i'll be taking you through all of these three options one by one just uh, go to the map attribute section so this is our map, map attribute section here and so uh, basically under the section the admin will be able to map the google merchant account attributes with the magento store attributes uh, so uh, here the admin can map the values reset the values and save the mapping data as required so here you need to just map the uh, merchant account attributes with the magento store attributes so for that what we'll be doing is we'll be selecting the uh, different uh, uh, different values for example the product id or the offer id and in magento store it refers to the sku of the product and we have the title so this goes with the magento product name the description this goes with the description within the magento store then similarly we have the gtin we have the brand in the magento store for brand we have the manufacturer similarly for the color we have color for mnp mpn we have the mpn field then we have the shipping weight in magento we have the weight and the image link and we have the base image for that so here uh, you can easily uh, map the google merchant account attributes on the left hand side with the uh, Magento store attributes available under the each in particular drop down option here. So uh, after you've done the mapping or after you've selected the respective fields for the Google shopping fields, click the save uh, mapping data button that you can see on the top right hand uh, corner. And uh, after saving uh, this, uh, you'll be able to see a confirmation message as well. So you can see the uh, mapped records have been saved successfully so that was about the uh, map attribute section now let me take you to the map category section so uh, under the uh, map category section the admin will be able to find a list of all the mapped categories uh, if uh, the admin has already mapped any of the categories and he'll be able to see a list of categories that he has uh, mapped otherwise if you want to uh, map a new category you can click on the map category button you also have the action drop down option here to delete any of the uh, mapped categories you want to delete you can delete them up by first selecting the uh, the mapped category and then under the action button you can select, select the delete button for the same uh, for deleting the uh, mapped categories there and to uh, map a new category you can click on the map category button on the top right hand corner here and this brings up a section to map the categories as you can see here so here we need to select the store category and the google feed and the corresponding google feed category so uh, for uh, this uh, category mapping we will be uh, demonstrating you uh, how to map the category by selecting the store category and the respective google feed category for that particular store category that we've already selected so i'll go to uh, uh, watches maybe I'll select watches so I'll just select watches for the store category and the corresponding Google feed category we need to select so here I'll select this as apparel and accessories and uh, under that I'll be selecting its subcategory that's jewelry and under that I'll be selecting that the sub uh, category for that that's the watches 
So I have just mapped my store category that is watches with the Google feed category uh, that's watches. So after mapping these two categories, I'll just hit the same make mapping data button here. And this would map the uh, store category with the uh, Google feed category. So whichever category you're selected for your store category, that would be mapped with the uh, Google uh, feed category there. And after that, you'll see a uh, success message as well. And then you can see the complete list of uh, mapped categories. And here you can see that the watches has been uh, uh, has been mapped with the Google feed uh, category. And we have uh, mapped it with the watches section in the Google feed category. So that was about the uh, category mapping under the, uh, the map category option on the Google shopping feed. And lastly, we have the Google feed products. So uh, let me take you to this section as well, the Google feed products. So under here, you'll find all the exported products that you've exported to the Google Feeds merchant account there. So all of those products would be visible under this exported products section. And here you can also delete any of the exported products uh, that you can see. And here you can find the map ID and the Google Feed ID as well. And the uh, merchant product ID for that particular Google Feed ID. And uh, uh, so this uh, section actually shows the exported products that you've exported into your Google Merchant account there. So uh, these products are visible here after we have uh, uh, clicked the button that is the export to Google shop button in the module configuration settings after we have authorized the user. There was a button under there uh, with the name export to Google shop. You had to click that up. So let me uh, show, show you that uh, section once again. So uh, here uh, we are again at the Google Shopping Feed section. Uh, we configured the module and after that we authenticated the user. And here we have the export to Google Shop button. So uh, if you want to export your products to the Google Shop there, so you need to hit that up. And this brings up this section that would start uh, exporting the product. If you've already exported some of the products, those would not be again exported. And the leftover of the uh, products that are there within your uh, Magento 2 store would be uh, synchronized uh, or would be exported to the Google Shopping Feed uh, section on there. So uh, like this, you can export all of your products that are there within your Magento 2 web store to your Google Shopping Feeds uh, section there. And after that, uh, all of these products are visible under the exported product list. So here is the exported product list that you can see after the products have been exported. Now, after one two hours, uh, after the after one two hours have been passed, uh, we'll show you how the products are visible at the Google Merchant account there uh, within the dashboard there. So it takes some time for the products to uh, get uh, available at the uh, Google Shopping Feeds uh, Merchant account. So. Uh, so I'll just show you in a moment uh, how the exported uh, products are visible at the uh, Google Merchant account there. So uh, let the products uh, get exported and I'll show you that. So right now uh, I'm at my Google Merchant Center and it's been more than around one hour and my products have been created here. And uh, you can navigate for the products by going through products and then going to the list. And here you can see all the products that have been created here. So uh, to check a product, you can click on the uh, product uh, link here and then you can see the details of that particular product as well. And the images also take some time because it takes time uh, for, uh, for, for, for Google to crawl the images. So it takes time for the images to appear and you can see the technical details as well as uh, the uh, final attributes of the product at the Google Merchant Center. And here you'll find the title, ID, price, availability of the product, the condition. Uh, so whichever attributes we had set there within the Magento 2 store are visible here for the product as well. And one more thing, you can also ship, uh, uh, you can also add shipping according to your location. And uh, you can add the shipping by going to the uh, shipping section. And here you can create uh, the shipping service for your products. And uh, you can accordingly add your area currency shipping rate and you can also add the delivery zones as per your requirement there and as per your uh, area so uh, so uh, that was much about the google shopping feed for magento to uh, 
uh, extension and uh, hope it uh, helped you out and uh, if you have any doubts re regarding the extension then you can always get back to us at support at the rate of webpool.com or you may raise a ticket at webpool.uvidus.com. Thanks for watching this video and have a great day ahead.